Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today we are going to be making something that has a very intriguing name. It's not particularly flattering, but that's what makes it intriguing. We are going to be making garbage bag crackers or trash bag crackers or a party snack mix that's made in a trash bag. Right? It's so amazing what an intriguing name can do. This is supposed to be absolutely delicious. It looks super easy and I do have some questions. We're going to be taking a bunch of different crackers and snackies, putting them in a large trash bag and pouring an ingredient on top of them and then letting it sit for a little while until it turns into party mix. And what is the secret ingredient? This. A bottle of orange yellow liquid. This is butter popcorn topping. This is what you get pumped on your popcorn when you go to the movies. And this is what we're going to be adding. And this is made of soybean oil, artificial flavor, and color, which is beta carotene in this case. So we're just adding a bunch of oil, flavored oil, to these crackers and some ranch seasoning. This is a packet of ranch seasoning that's used to make ranch dressing, but it's used to season to all kinds of things like chicken cutlets. You can make other kinds of seasoned crackers, which I've done before. I've made oyster crackers with this stuff and it's really great. Lots of application and <laughs> I made gummy bears using this as well. I'll put a link to that video in case you missed it. So I have a lot of questions about this recipe. Number one, what is it going to taste like? Number two, is it going to be soggy? We are dumping on 16 ounces of popcorn oil on a bunch of snacks and won't they get soggy? I just, I just, that's what I'm most concerned about. How is this going to affect the texture? Because that's one of the biggest appeals for snacks for me is the crunch, the big and the different kinds of crunch. If it's a light crunch, a brittle crunch, a hard crunch, a thin poofy crunch, what kind of crunch. And if that gets affected by this, then that won't make the snack half as good in my opinion. I mean, flavor is one thing, but texture is huge and there's no baking required. We're just going to let the stuff macerate, marinate, soak in. And we're going to be cooking with a trash bag cooking, right? Alrighty, lots of things. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already introduced two of the characters of the cast. Let me introduce you to the others. So today's recipe is an amalgam of several that I found on the internet, and I will put links to the originals down below. You can essentially put whatever snacky treats you want, whichever ones that you like, but it needs to be a large panoply because that's what makes the party mix really fun. All those different textures and shapes. Goldfish, the snack of toddlers in the United States. Very, very popular. Bugles, this is a bit of a throwback. I remember these when I was a kid. I didn't actually particularly like eating the snacks all that much. They're a corn snack, but I loved sticking them on my fingers and doing little witchy voices. Bugles. More cheesy crackers. We've got Cheez-Its. Wheat Thins. I like the hint of salt because I find the regulars too salty. A bag of pretzel sticks. A bag of oyster crackers, which are like saltines, but more diminutive in size. I've got some townhouse crackers. I got a bag of munchos because one of the recipes listed these and I have not had these in a very long time. I remember them being kind of reminiscent of Pringles. I think they're not made out of just sliced potato. I believe they're made out of dehydrated potato flakes, but I got them out of curiosity. If you have a nice lidded container, that'd be great, but I didn't have anything on hand. Plus this is called trash bag crackers. So. Hence the trash bag. Okay, now for the fun part. We're gonna just dump everything in. Dump. Goldfish. Entire bag of pretzel sticks. Wow. That makes such a nice sound. Love that little stir. I think while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and add my ranch seasoning. Some recipes call for garlic powder and onion powder. 
that would be delicious too. Other recipes listed Cajun seasoning, which I'm sure would be delicious. A little cayenne. Oh my gosh, bugles, I have not seen you in so long. What is it with putting things on your fingers, like olives and stuff? The best. My thumb is too fat. Oh no. I have to touch every single bugle at this point. Oh my gosh, they're so salty. Wow. They taste like Fritos. Very corny. Cheez-Its. Wow. Wheat thins. Sleeve of these crackers. And these are very similar to club crackers, but oval in shape. Finally, munchos. Oh, they're not really like Pringles at all. Oh, but they do look like a potato chip. But they're not slices of potato, see? My gosh, you're so salty. Mmm, they taste kind of like a Pringle, but fried. We're going to add an entire bottle of popcorn topping. Actually, it doesn't smell like much. Let's dip a pretzel in it. Buttery. All right, I'm gonna add some of that in there. Oh my gosh, that seems insane. All right, I'm gonna fold it like this so you can see the mix mixing. Oh my gosh, this is such a huge amount. A simpler thing to do would be just to close this up and, and stir it inside, but since I'm doing this for you, I want you to see, and I want to see too. <laughs> okay, finally, the last third. Wow. So now we're gonna tie this up and let this soak for at least 24 hours up to two or three days so that the oils and the flavors can meld and all the crackers can be friends. And then we will give this a taste. Okay. Alrighty, my lovelies, I am back. It has been a full 48 hours since I placed a mixture of little snacks and crackers into this garbage bag along with 16 ounces of popcorn buttery-ness. Oil, essentially, flavored oil. And look at that. The sheer amount of snackage here is worth noting. It doesn't look oily. When I first poured everything and mixed it together, it definitely looked oily, although the bag, mm -hmm, definitely greasy. But the crackers and snacks themselves look to have absorbed all that buttery popcorn-y oil. Give a townhouse cracker a taste. Here we go, itadakimasu. Mmm, mm. still light and crunchy. Definitely more savory. I don't specifically taste the ranch per se. It just tastes more savory and buttery. But that cracker was already buttery. They're touted as being buttery light crackers, so it just, still taste buttery. The texture is a little bit different. It's not as light, but it still remains nice and crisp. Not bad. Let's give a bugle a taste. Mmm. Still very crunchy. Mm-hmm. That was my biggest point of skepticism for this recipe, was that, that this mix wasn't going to stay crunchy because we added so much liquid. But as you heard, still very, very crunchy. Tastes like a bugle with a little more savory oomph. Nothing specific. I wouldn't say if I was blindfolded that I would recognize that it was ranch flavor, but good. A little buttery essence to it as well. Kind of like popcorn. That one specifically tasted more like movie theater popcorn because it's corn based. So that association with corn and fake butter flavor is one that's programmed into my brain and in my opinion a good match let's try a pretzel stick here we go mm. Mm mm-hmm i'm not a huge fan of pretzels but i like that mm -hmm. classic pretzely flavor with lots of salt and an essence of butter yes that tastes like pretzel, the buttery pretzel sticks. You know the butter flavored ones? Mm-hmm, exactly what it tastes like. Okay, let's try a muncho, these chips. 
wow, those are super salty. Even more so because we added that buttery flavor and the ranch powder, but still very crisp. It doesn't feel soggy. It's nice and crisp and crunchy. And there's some kind of density to it. It's somewhat oily, you know what I mean? Not entirely greasy, but there's a heaviness to it. Years and years and years ago, I made homemade goldfish crackers. I made the tiniest little goldfish cookie cutter. Crazy, but here we go. Hmm, I feel like the flavor of the goldfish is masked a little bit. Goldfish crackers have a slight little tinge of celery flavor to them. Wheat thin. Mm -hmm. The crunch remains, but it's not as light. Having said that, it's not a stale crunch. Mm -mm. Have you noticed how sweet wheat thins are? There's a significant amount of sweetness with wheat thins and it goes really well with that ranch seasoning and butter. Mm. I forgot to tell you, that was a cheese it Mm-hmm. I like the cheese it Again, the crunch is affected a little bit. It's like a different type of crunch. Oh, I didn't try the oyster crackers. These have completely changed color. They're now yellow when they were kind of whitish before. Mm -hmm. With a nice little kiss of buttery flavor. An addictive savoriness that coats everything, but it's not distinctive. I think there's even more room for flavor in this recipe. You could add another packet of ranch powder mix. You could add some garlic powder, onion powder. Definitely more room for that because right now everything tastes and buttery and there is a savoriness but nothing too specific oh a little bit of heat might be nice lovelies i had to turn the camera back on to give you an update i had to make two batches of these because i had a filming snafu and i have to say i used two different brands of buttery flavor and the other brand which i forgot the name of because i threw away the bottle not the orville redenbacher brand is better it has more of that buttery flavor so i have two bags of this mix yes i have a lot of this stuff and the flavor of this one is better mm -hmm. and yeah there you have it garbage bag crackers feed a crowd of a lot of cracker mix all right my lovelies Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Get in touch with me. Share your recipes with me. Love to hear them. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>